had a night to rest and we're back at it again today. So fresh fuel, we've got the new leads on, the dizzy's all set up, everything looking really good. A little squirt of carb cleaner just down the carb, we'll do that now just to get some sort of ethers into the engine to help it uh, kick and what we'll do is we'll turn it over and we'll see if we can get the thing to run. So fingers crossed, first time running in minimum 10 years, quick skirt, squirt, or starter, not too much. Battery, ignition, starting. Okay, so no dramas. Straight away, fantastic news. Doesn't sound too bad either. Don't want to rev it too much. Just letting the engine settle in. Sounds like it's hunting a bit rich, maybe. That could be the ethers that we put in. I'm going to increase the revs of the engine. cylinders because they're obviously laying in a horizontal position so things are looking really good Okay, so during the running, I noticed, as you can see it's a bit wet here, that fuel is starting to leak out the bottom of the fuel pump. That indicates to me that there's a perforated diaphragm inside of here, and it's leaking through these overflows. Those going on to the engine, a hot engine, fuel on it, not a great idea. So, I have on the shelves, believe it or not, a replacement. So I've put in uh, fuel into this already, tested it, you can hear it sucking. Nothing's coming out of the, uh, the holes in the bottom, so I believe this is a good one. It looks quite, quite new. Oops. So what we're going to do now is take the pipes off of this, put it onto this one, and then this will get mounted on the engine, and we'll put this one back into stores for us to fix another day, because we want to get this thing driving. Once we finish this, we'll be having looking at the brakes and the handbrake, and also there's a couple of loose end wires floating around at the moment as well. I want to make sure that they're either taped off or earthed to make sure that they don't spark once we're up and running. Welcome to what was once described as the inner sanctum of the workshop. So this is here on a engineer's bench. We look at getting some of the mechanical parts of the Panhard serviced and ready for use. So we've just been into the vehicle and we've removed this, which is the handbrake. Um, it's not in actually that bad condition, so we've oiled it and it's actually working quite well. But what isn't working so well is the handbrake 
I would describe it as a cable, but it's actually not. But the handbrake, well, let's call it the cable, the handbrake mechanism is corroded completely through. This is because it passes underneath the batteries and obviously they've had some issue in the past with battery acid spilling out. That's just basically eaten away here. So when I put the handbrake on earlier, it just simply snapped. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this. So we have a roll here of nice fresh steel and we will attach that to the handbrake and then onto the gearbox. So let's get on with it. some of the brake fluid from the brake reservoirs. And these are them here, they are between your feet. This is the brake pedal over here and that's the accelerator. So I've taken the tops off and what we're going to try and do is take the fluid out of these, see sort of the quality of the fluid and then we'll top it back up. And eventually we'll go around and we'll actually bleed them on the, uh, the, uh, the cylinders on the wheels. But just for now, we're going to get this out. So I've got a hypodermic into a tube and I just open the hypodermic like this and I can already see, look at the, dear me, look at the colour of the fluid. So yeah, incredibly dirty. So I'll take that out and we'll just see now, filthy. So let's carry on, we'll empty these two out and then we'll top them up with fresh brake fluid. end of the day one pan hard running and driving brakes aren't bad handbrakes very good obviously because we've uh, cleaned up the mechanism on it um, it's 
running a bit fast the engine so it needs a little bit of fettling really having a look at the um, accelerator cable I think is sticking inside of the sleeve so we need to get some penetrating oil down inside of it but on the whole it's working so that's not bad after all those years in storage especially left outside so what we're going to do now is actually clean the thing uh, try and get some of this uh, moss and flaky paint off of it and then we might give it a blow over in white again uh, to make sure that it's uh, back as it was in the UN white. Here we have the Panard AML60. We've done a light cosmetic restoration. We've got the thing driving, changing gear, and the brakes work. We've put in a brand new handbraking mechanism as well, and it's running really, really well. We've put it back into white as it was originally when it was used in the United Nations. So uh, a little bit different, and hopefully we should see this on the show circuit very soon.